Hey guys, this is Wanda the Traveling Dutchie here coming right at you from beautiful Costa Rica. In today's video, we're going to discuss a hot topic, how to get residency in Costa Rica, the different categories, the cost, and how long it takes. Now, if you're new to this channel, I'm a Dutch expat and have been living in Costa Rica for the last 16 years. We in my channel, I like to keep you up to date on anything Costa Rica related. So if you don't want to miss out, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell icon so you receive a notification every time I upload a new video. Now let's get into it, you guys. Now when entering Costa Rica, you actually automatically receive a 90-day tourist visa. A lot of expats stay here and do visa runs, so they leave every 90 days. I would suggest a more permanent solution if you have decided that Costa Rica is indeed your permanent home. I would say go for residency so you don't have to leave every 90 days and life obviously is a lot easier in a country when you do have residency. Now, most people aren't even aware that there's over 30 different categories to obtain residency in Costa Rica. If you even Google now online, you will only see the most common ones. People read that, give up, but you need to check with a lawyer to see if your circumstances actually allow you to obtain residency. So, so yeah, it's best to reach out to a lawyer to see what your options are. If you don't have a trusted lawyer yet, feel free to use mine. I'll leave his information below in the description of this video. Now what I want to do is I'm going to share my screen with you guys because for the two first categories I just want to really explain it well because they're very similar and there's one category that not a lot of people talk about that might be perfect for you. You ready? Let's do it. Let's start with a very common category which is residency for investors. In order to become a legal resident of Costa Rica under the investor category, you will need to have an investment of at least 200000 in Costa Rica. They're actually trying to pass a law right now that may lower this to 150000 So we'll keep our eyes on it. Investments can be made in any type of business, like manufacturing, a hotel, or maybe a bar or restaurant you want to open. Keep in mind, though, that you can own the business and receive dividends, but you cannot work in your business and receive a salary. You actually have to hire local workers. Investing in real estate is also a great option. Actually, many American experts in Costa Rica bought a home here, and they split their time between living in the U.S. and in Costa Rica. Now, this is a temporary residency and is only valid for two years. It can be renewed, assuming you still own the home or business you invested in. After three years of holding temporary residency, you will become eligible for permanent residency. Under this category, you are allowed to obtain res residency for additional family members, like your spouse, parents, and children. Moving on to the next category, which I find very interesting and most people don't know about, is residency for entrepreneurs with a registered business. Let's not confuse this with the investor category we just went over, because with this category, you do not have to invest a minimum of 200000 You actually can work in your own business and receive a salary, and you are not required to hire locals. But you do have to renew your residency every year and prove that your business is still operating. Do keep in mind, they won't allow you to obtain residency for any additional family members, but this is still a great option for many expats with an online business that, move, that wish to move to Costa Rica. I actually started my own online business here, and it's easy to register it here with the help of a lawyer. Now, how to start your own online business? If you would like more info on this, just watch till the end of this video. Scroll down the text below the video. And there you will find a link 
that you can click on and go to the section here below the video and you'll find out the path I took and you can follow me in my footsteps if you would like to start an online business. Now let's move on to the next category. Residency for people with a fixed income. If you or your spouse have a minimum passive income of 2500 a month, you may qualify for the resident residency under the category rentista. This income can't come from a salary. It has to be passive or fixed income. So this investment source of income will need to be verified by a financial or banking institution. This can be done by providing a letter from a bank or a financial institution that indicates that the applicant will receive the sum of 2500 a month in Costa Rica for at least two years. Again, this is something your lawyer can help you with. They will also allow you to obtain residency for any additional family members. The temporary residency under the rentista category is valid for two years and can be renewed for an additional two-year period. And after three years, you can apply for permanent residency. Moving on to the next category. If you or your spouse have a lifelong pension of at least $1,000 a month, you may qualify for residency in Costa Rica under the residency category pensional. You need to show proof of permanent monthly income from Social Security, retirement funds, military pensions, or other guaranteed retirement benefits. There's no minimum age to qualify and it may include a spouse and children. This residency is valid for two years and it can be renewed for additional two year periods. After three years, you can apply for permanent residency. Then before we go over what the cost of obtaining residency is, I just quickly wanna to touch on two very common categories that get residency, which of course is residency through marriage and residency through being a parent. If you are married to a Costa Rica citizen or you give birth to a Tico or a Tico, you may qualify for residency as well. For all the exact details on requirements or documents that you would need for each category or any questions you may have, I invite you to reach out to my lawyer directly. Again, if you wait until the end of the video, after I actually talk about the cost and how long it takes to get residency, you scroll down like you see here. So this is the video. You scroll down to the text below and there you find a link that has the contact information of my lawyer. So you'll find two links. Remember, one of them is actually um, the info on the training that teaches you how to be an online entrepreneur. And the other one is the contact information of my lawyer. So be sure to check that out below the video. Now, let's finally talk about the cost of getting residency and how long it takes. So the cost of hiring a lawyer and getting your whole residency done will be anywhere between $1,800 and $2,200. Sure, you can get it done for less money, but you know, you have to be careful who you trust because there's also people that are not lawyers that say they can do it for you. You're, they're a fraction of the cost, but you want a trusted lawyer. Immigration offices are crowded. The officials are overworked. Lawyers actually have their own section, their own lines. I don't know, unless you're a super patient person, <laughs> uh, you could try to do it yourself. You would still need to pay uh, over $300 in fees. You'd still need to pay for documents that lawyers still need to help you with. It's just, to me, it wasn't worth it. So I highly suggest to let a professional just take care of it so you don't have all the frustration and it doesn't take that long. Now moving on, on how long it takes to get residency. Well, <laughs> that completely depends. It can last anywhere between five months and 14 months. Just depending on what category that you pick and also on so many things, it is Costa Rica after all. I do notice that you get your residency way faster if your category is based on 
having given birth to a Costa Rica citizen. Like one of my friends got it in four months. That was insane. Mine took, based on marriage, took over 14 months, 14 and a half months. But that was a long time ago. So there you have it. You just have to be patient, that's all. But then it will all be worth it. All right, you guys, if you found this information helpful, please give me a like, a thumbs up, and leave a comment if you have any questions. Remember in the description below is the links to the contact information of my lawyer in case you don't have one yet. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. For now, I wanna thank you so much for watching. Chao from Costa Rica. Pura vida.